Hi, my name is Duncan Edwards and I'm standing in Rutherford County on the farm of Butch and Karen Moore. Butch and Karen work regular jobs and they do this farming in addition. So it's not a 24 hour a day thing every day. What we've got to do for producers like that, agricultural producers, is give them the opportunity to get their watering needs and their nutritional requirements for all their livestock. In this case, we're talking about livestock watering. What we've got today is to show solar panels providing electric power for a small pump that moves the water out of a stream into a watering trough that's accessible by the animals. This is fairly typical for Appalachia. Small streams, a lot of them not even on any substantial map, but yet they're on the ground. It's a water resource that the farmer has available to him and is something that can be used if he just had a good easy way to do it. In ground like this, it can be difficult and, th and that means expensive to sink a water well conventionally, equip it conventionally, and run a power line and pay a power electric bill every time you want to use that water. This option provides a mobile, flexible power arrangement and water pumping system that can actually go from point to point, pasture to pasture, be moved by pickup, be moved by all-terrain vehicle, be taken down narrow trails even. So it is a very flexible arrangement to move water. Water comes out of the stream and ends up where the livestock can use it. And we're going to talk now about the pump. The submersible pump is all made of non-corroding materials. It's aircraft technology coming into the agricultural world. Intake here at the bottom of the pump. Pumps are put in series. We'll go into that in a little bit more and I'm going to show you how it all puts together. And this little box is the magical box in the middle that uh, provides a low water shutoff. So now let's insert this pump in here. And you can see from the bottom intakes. Here's one of them, four all the way around for water to come into the base of this get pulled into the pump and then up and out. The two pumps that we looked at are pumps that can do 25 feet. When put together, we'll do 50 feet. And actually, three and four pumps can go in and go up to 75 or 100 feet. All the units are made of non-corrosive materials. It can sit in the water a long time. The goal in the impoundment of water in the stream is to get water level up to this point. So when it drops, you'll see that the water, low water shutoff will take effect. So once that's down into here, what we're looking for is a water height from the base of the intake up to this low water shutoff of about 10 to 12 inches. The connector at the pump outlet will screw into this garden hose. It might look curious why the garden hose goes through a separate one inch PVC. The reason for that is to maintain a slope so that we have drain back possibility. This, this uh, hose will rise gradually all the way to the water outlet, which means it falls gradually all the way back to the pump. When the pump shuts off, the water drains back. There's no water left in the line. It's a way of freeze protection. The solar panel works best when it, sunlight hits it directly. I just use my finger to see that I've got a direct line to the sun down to the panel and can adjust it with an angle based on this adjusting bar, as shallow as that, as steep as this, and in this case we're back about right here. So you've got plug coming from the solar unit, plug coming from the uh, pump, put them together. That doesn't work. The only way they go together are like this, so there's no reverse direction. Positive goes to positive, negative to negative. Weatherproof good snug plug. They can be connected hot, disconnected hot, but in the units we have there's a switch here so that when we're ready we connect with the plug and then throw the switch. Now that we've hooked up the solar pumps to the solar panel, we put the pump in the creek, we're taking water out of that creek and here the water is showing up inside of our pasture, inside the fence. I'm going to put it into this water trough now from a little connection in the back. There will be times when we don't want to have excess water pour out of here. One way to do that is with a float switch that operates in the electric line between the power source and the pump. 
As the water level rises to here, there's enough pressure created in this tube that activates the switch and the pumping becomes deactivated. As the water level then drops from here down to this level, the pump will turn back on as the pressure drops in this line. And this box can be mounted securely on a post just away from the water trough. And that way you've got a good consistent water level through this little bit of a range for the livestock.